Hello and welcome to another Sonic Ninja video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Pittsburgh Modular Lifeform's primary oscillator. I'm going to cover briefly the reason why I picked this module for my rack, as well as give some uh, quick audio demos. So the main reason that I chose this module is I was looking for a, an, an analog um, oscillator that had some unique capabilities. And uh, while researching various oscillators that uh, were out there, when I came across this one, I, I found that I really liked Pittsburgh Modular's approach in that they wanted to make an analog um, oscillator that, was, that would produce complex waveforms. Uh, similar to what you could get from like a wavetable oscillator, for example. And uh, so the, what I found mainly interesting are the uh, three outputs, uh, primary outputs associated with these sliders here, which are the uh, blade, the fragment, and the uh, timbre output. Um, there's also a pulse, saw, and sine. I'm not going to go through those, but uh, there should be other audio demos online you could find for that. Uh, it does have linear and exponential FM as well as a harmonic sine, which does affect the blade wave. So let me give you some quick demos of how those sliders affect the sound. Here's the blade wave. With harmonic sign. And next up is the fragment output, which is similar to like a bit crusher. sign. And then last is the timbre output, which is basically a wave folder for both the uh, sign output and the blade wave. So I hope that uh, quick demo gives you an idea of what kind of waveforms this uh, module can produce. And imagine combining the outputs along with some moduliza uh, modulization, modulation, as long as some, along with some modulation, and produce some really complex waveforms. So check it out when you get a chance. Thanks for watching.